A multiplier is a number used in mathematics to increase or decrease an amount. If you're using a calculator, it's a much more quick and efficient way to work out percentage changes in just a single calculation. In a previous tutorial, we saw how to increase an amount by a certain percentage, where in the first example, we were told to increase 30 milliliters by 8%. Now what we did was use the fact that 30 milliliters in this case would be equivalent to 100% and so to increase by 8% we would need to take 108% of 30 milliliters. Now we got this 108% by adding 100% which was equivalent to the full amount to 8% which was the percentage that we needed to increase by. Now, the decimal value of this percentage is what we call the multiplier. And so since 108% is the same as 108 out of 100, the equivalent decimal value would be equal to 1.08, which would be the multiplier. And so to increase 30 milliliters by 8%, all we have to do is multiply 30 by the multiplier which is equal to 1.08 to give us a new volume of 32.4 milliliters. We also saw this example in the previous tutorial where we were asked to decrease 3,000 pounds by 12%. And so to calculate the new amount in this case, we used the fact that 3,000 pounds would be equivalent to 100%. So if we were decreasing by 12%, we would need to take 88% of 3,000 pounds and we got the 88% by doing 100% minus 12% and since 88% is the same as 88 out of 100 the equivalent decimal value is 0 0.88 which is our multiplier in this case and so in order to decrease 3,000 by 12% all we have to do is multiply 3,000 by the multiplier which is 0 0.88 to give us the new amount of 2,640 pounds, okay? As a general rule of thumb, the multiplier for a percentage increase will always be a decimal value greater than one and the multiplier for a percentage decrease will always be a decimal value between zero and one. So let's have a look at some more examples where we find the multiplier. If you are asked to increase an amount by 20%, because we're increasing, you need to take 100% plus 20%, which is equal to 120% of the amount. And 120% is equal to 1.2 as a decimal, so the multiplier is equal to 1.2. If you are asked to increase an amount by 3.5%, because you're increasing, you need to take 100% plus 3.5% of the amount, which is 103.5%. And 103.5% is equal to 1.035 as a decimal, so the multiplier is equal to 1.035. If you are asked to decrease an amount by 30%, because we're decreasing, we need to take 100% minus 30%, which is equal to 70% of the amount. And 70% is equal to 0 0.7 as a decimal. And so the multiplier is equal to 0 0.7. If you were asked to decrease an amount by 4.5%, because we're decreasing, you would need to take 100% percent minus 4.5 percent of the amount which is equal to 95.5 percent 95.5 percent is equal to 0 0.955 as a decimal and so the multiplier is equal to 0 0.955 okay so let's have a look at more examples where we use multipliers to increase and decrease amounts the first one says increase 50 by 15 percent so as we are increasing, we need to take 115% of 50, and we get 115 by adding 100 plus 15%, giving us that the new amount would be equal to 50 times by the multiplier, 
of 1.15, which is the decimal equivalent of 115%. And if you use your calculator, you get that the answer is 57.5. The next example, we're told to increase 212 by 1%. Now, because we're increasing the amount, we need to take 101% of 212, and we get the 101% by adding 1% to 100%. And so we can get that the new amount is equal to 212 times by the multiplier of 1.01, .01, the decimal equivalent of 101%. And using the calculator, we get that the answer is equal to 214.12, okay? In the next example, we're told to decrease 70 by 40%. Now, because we've been asked to decrease the amount, we need to take 60% of 70. And we get the 60% by doing 100% minus this 40%. And so the new amount would be 70 multiplied by the multiplier, which is 0 0.6, the decimal value of 60%. Using the calculator, we get that 70 times 0 0.6 is equal to 42. Lastly, we're told to decrease 35 by 19.5%. Because we are decreasing the amount, we need to take 100% minus 19.5% of the amount, which is 80.5%. And so the new amount would be equal to 35 times by the multiplier, which is 0 0.805, the decimal equivalent of 80.5%. And using the calculator, we get that the new amount is equal to 28.175, okay? In upcoming tutorials, we'll see how useful multipliers are when solving compound interest problems. Until then, keep up the good work and I will see you soon. If you like this video, Please give us a thumbs up, leave your comments down below and subscribe to this channel so you'll be the first to know when we release our next videos.